Here are today's top stories. First, we now know who will star in the Resident Evil origin movie. Kaya Scodelario, Hannah John Common, Robbie Amell, and Tom Hopper will star in the film, which is serving as the official origin story for the movie franchise based on the popular Capcom horror video games. Actors Avin Jogia and Neil McDonough are also arming up for the project. The previous six Resident Evil movies have grossed over $1.2 billion at the global box office, the most recent being 2016's Resident Evil The Final Chapter. Ten years ago in Raccoon City, there was an outbreak. It spread across the world within days. In the new movie, Skoldelario, best known for the Maze Runner films and 2017's Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, will play a character central to the underlying Resident Evil mythology, Claire Redfield. In more casting news, HBO's Game of Thrones prequel has found its king. THR's Neha Joy has more. Following an extensive casting search, The Outsider star Patty Considine has been tapped to topline the new straight-to-series throne prequel drama House of the Dragon. Based on Game of Thrones creator George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood, House of the Dragon is set 300 years before the events of the recently concluded fantasy drama and tells the story of House Targaryen, which we know from the OG Thrones drama will eventually birth our very own Khaleesi, Daenerys Targaryen. Considine will star as King Viserys Targaryen, chosen to succeed the old King Jaharis Targaryen. A warm, kind, and decent man, Viserys only wishes to carry forward his grandfather's legacy. But good men do not necessarily make for great kings. And after losing her husband, Broadway star Nick Cordero, to COVID-19, Amanda Klutz is speaking out against President Trump's Don't Be Afraid of COVID tweet. Naya has more on that story, too. Responding in an Instagram post accompanying a photo of Trump's tweet, Klutz took issue with Trump saying people shouldn't let COVID dominate their lives. Unfortunately, it did dominate our lives, didn't it? It dominated Nick's family's lives and my family's lives. Klutz continued, noting Trump's short stay at Walter Reed. Unfortunately, not everyone is lucky enough to spend two days in the hospital. I cried next to my husband for 95 days, watching what COVID did to the person I love. It is something to be afraid of. After you see the person you love the most die from this disease, you would never say what this tweet says. There is no empathy to all the lives lost. He is bragging instead. It is sad, it is hurtful, it is disgraceful. For more on all these stories, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.